I could always delve into the player analysis on the Wilfred Singo Fantasy FC SVC. The first thing that I want to talk about here is how much we think that Singo will get upgraded. Now, he has his next four games are Strasbourg, Laurie, and Metz, and Rene. And Rene are a, very, a fairly good team, but apart from Rene, um, you know, there's not really anyone there. Um, they should win the next three games, basically. So we think we'll probably get an upgrade there. Um, and Monaco, well, they kept a clean sheet against PSG, but apart from that, they haven't kept a clean sheet since December. So it's very, you know, there's probably not going to happen with that clean sheet. But it might do. Now, does Singo play every single game? He played the last game against PSG. Is Have they um, dropped someone that's not injured? Oh my god, EA have dropped someone that's not injured. So we think they'll get three appearances then if, you know, he's playing every single game. Uh, but the 11 goals, nah. Not for me. I don't think that'll happen. Unless they beat Strasbourg or something like that, 6-0. Um, then it's probably not going to happen. But... That's probably a two upgrade there. So let's actually jump into the player analysis here. So we have six foot three. Can he play? Oh, okay. He's six foot three. Lads, already this is not great. We do not want a six foot three player anywhere outfield, really, unless it's centre back. Um, so yeah, he's already going to be a bit of an L. It's high, high work rate though. Four star, three star, right foot and control. This is going to have to blow my mind away with the stats here to be anywhere near as competent as a normal right back. Well, I say normal, but just fair fair height. You can play right back or right mid. Even right mid, probably still. You know, you can't have six or three player anywhere out and wide. They need to be agile. Um, and then in terms of linking him, it could be fairly difficult, actually, considering it's Ligue 1, AS Monaco and Ivory Coast there. So he's got 90, to be fair, right, 93 pace on a six foot three player is beastly. He, he actually could be a bit of a beast. He'd be a really nice looking centre back. But obviously, like, you can't play there, and that's fair enough. But we'll still judge his card. He's got 79 shooting, which is okay. Uh, the passing looks brilliant there. Fair enough. Dribbling's good. Pet defending's alright. And physical. So he just he looks like an average fullback there from the stats, but six foot three is just not good. So he's got power header, whip, pass, ping, pass, jockey, rapid, relentless, and then technical plus. He's, he's, he's got good play styles. He's a good looking card. What's the price on him then? 84, 85. I would say steer clear on this one, boys. Unless you really have like no fodder or fodder to go somewhere. Because it's, it's six foot three as a right, as, as a right back. It's not going to work for you, unfortunately. But it looks like a nice card nonetheless. But it's a bit of a shame that he's six foot three.